Very dear friends, welcome. We are officially opening the Zermatt Summit third edition. And it, Zermatt has been a fascinating adventure for us. Thanks to this initiative, we have been able to meet and actually attract up here in the mountains, far from the noise of the world, the most extraordinary people, many thought leaders, people of good will, many involved for the poor, the weak, engaged in all sections of society to create a better world. Let me thank you deeply for all, all of you for being with us. A special thank you to those speakers and delegates, and I see our friend Max von Neef in the back, who came all the way from uh, South America, from Asia, from Africa. Let me also thank you for having accepted to share our continuous reflection on how to humanize globalization. In a striking coincidence with our gathering here in Zermatt, two major world events, the G20, which took place recently, and the Rio Earth Summit Climate Conference, which is happening right now, while I have the honor and the joy of welcoming you to the third edition, is taking place. Hundreds of world leaders, tens of thousands of delegates, and a myriad of journalists were in Mexico and are packed in Brazil busy with frenetic negotiations. If I may, I would like to be slightly provocative by po pointing out that what we are sharing here, what we want to build together, a community of servant leaders committed to the common good, is maybe more important in its essence and signification than what is currently taking place under those tropical skies. Rio may well succeed in establishing a roadmap for the transition to the green economy. But we already know that the extension of the Kyoto Protocol will remain limited exercise, and that sustainability will only be partly addressed by the so-called international community. Still dealing with major issues unresolved, such as poverty, eradication, water stress, food security, transfer of clean energy technologies to both developing and to the lesser developed countries remaining distant goals. Dear friends, the reason why the international community facing so many critical challenges remains unable to demonstrate statementship, solidarity, equity in line with our global interdependence is that self-interest and short-term views still prevail everywhere. Having been an entrepreneur for 25 years, as the founder of the TerraLab Group, I have to recognize the signals received from the economy and the financial markets. We still have very difficult days ahead of us. I can only ask myself, and at the same time ask you, a number of questions. Is it acceptable that our economy and most business firms are currently unable to generate growth? The answer is no. Is it acceptable that so much unemployment is caused by the localization of companies seeking only profits? The answer is no. Is it acceptable that young university graduates or apprentices are unable to find jobs? The answer is no. Is it acceptable that financial returns do not generate enough yields to fund our pension schemes for which we have been saving many, for many years? The answer is no. Is it acceptable that the level of taxes in many states is still growing and soon becoming unsustainable? And many more questions still need to be asked, but the answer is no. We believe that the Zermatt Summit can bring answers and guidance for solutions to some of these questions. We at the Zermatt Summit Foundation Board believe that we have to firmly enter into a new area, a new era where behavior interests and purposes will be different, where the human person will recover his or her place, which is at the center of the social, financial, economical, and political activity. Ladies and gentlemen, if we want to change the world, we need to open hearts and minds. The revolution of the hearts is what will happen in the 21st century if we want to change the world. Intelligence and hearts. This is the very reason why the theme towards the common good has been chosen for this year's summit. It is designed to become a reference 
for bringing uh, the Zermatt Summit is designed to become the reference by bringing practical recommendations to leaders. We believe that directing ourselves towards the common good, with we each one of us being called to see his or her own good in the good of others, is the only and one way to achieve a more human world. The common good is often, too often, neglected in favor of personal interests and public interest. This is why one of the high points of this third edition will be the unveiling of the Zermatt Summit Declaration on the Common Good, which, was al which will also be available on the website for signature. This declaration will be presented to prominent leaders and personalities. It is closely linked to two <coughs> other important documents, the Zermatt Summit Manifesto, which you have in your folders, and the text about the common good available online and in the foyer. The manifesto focuses on the business firm of the 21st century and is an important contribution of Philippe de Woot and Henri Claude de Bettigny. The text or the thesis entitled About the Common Good is uh, written by Antonin Pujols, our Secretary General, and has a wider scope. Now, how do we translate working for the common good in the business world? As explained in the manifesto, we want to change the dominant paradigm in order to reinvent, reinvent a new corporate culture. The responsible corporation will have to find a new balance between its key roles of entrepreneurship, leadership, and statementship. In fact, the definition of a company is not to focus only on profits. It's actually to bring progress social progress, economic progress, technological progress, environmental progress. So actually, the raison d'etre of a business corporation or of a firm is much, much wider than just generating profit. You, you will hear about some example during this summit about corporate social responsibility from firms such as Google, Harry Winston, Bobst, HCL. These are world market leaders because they have put the human person at the center of their strategies and activities. You will discover new business models from Ashoka, such as social business, which bring innovative solutions to social and societal needs in a sustainable way. This is why, in partnership with the Centre des Jeunes Dirigeants, a French network of thousands of SMEs, we have launched the Dream of the Entrepreneur Award to encourage such new social entrepreneur startups. You will also hear strong testimonials from leaders working towards the common good and committed to making the world a better place, especially testimonials from the arts, which is a universal language, a bridge through which you can touch and change hearts and minds for all men and women. Now, finally, what are the goals? How can you contribute to the Zermatt Summit? We're very thankful to all participants for taking time to attend to think, to share. We welcome and encourage your ideas. However, we could not do it without you, and we need your personal contribution and commitment. You can help us promote the declaration and the manifesto by letting it known in your own networks. You can help us organize local events, such as the New Leaders Forum. You can encourage other leaders to join the Zermatt Summit community and participate in future editions especially from the business and political world. You can support our partners, such as the World Future Council, which just came out of a set of policies. You can participate and fund projects with business, academics, NGOs, and other stakeholders. Finally, you can help the Zermatt Summit by making a donation. In the name of the board, I want to warmly thank you and all our partners, especially institutional partners such as the Canton du Valais, the Loterie Romande, the city of Zermatt, and many others which are shown here on the slides, and of course our project partner, Kofra Holding. I wish you all a very enjoyable stay, a very inspiring and fruitful participation in this Zermatt Summit. Thank you very much.